Okay, this is a quick video that shows you how to take a export file either from another Canvas course or from a course in another LMS like Blackboard and to import only select content into your Canvas course. So here I am in a sample course that I've created and what I'm going to do is over here in the left hand menu I am going to scroll down until I get to the settings option I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to click import course content and the type of content that I want to import in this case I'm going to bring in a blackboard export file so I'm going to click on the Blackboard 6789 export.zip file. And then I'm going to choose my course. So there it is right there, this export file right here. And I'm going to click Open. And then here I'm going to click Select Specific Content. Now the reason I want to do that, especially with a Blackboard export, is because there's a lot of additional things in Blackboard that I don't want brought into my Canvas course. For example, here is another sample course that I created and I imported the entire Blackboard export into this particular file and this particular course. And when I go to the modules, you'll see there's a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need here in this course. For example, there's a Blackboard quick reference. Um, which I don't need in there. There's some information in here about um, you know disabilities in FERPA which is actually included in the blueprint so I don't need that anymore. There's a link to a syllabus in here but there's also a syllabus link over here and one on the main page so I don't need to include that in my modules area but more importantly the other thing that it brings in and this happens with all blackboard exports is when I click on the assignments thing you'll see that there are all these extra groups here so like there's an assignments group a blog group a SPC exam group a journal group a self and peer group an assignment group a survey group a total a weighted total a test group a discussion group imported assignments and you see most of these have no assignments in them now the problem with that is is that while I could go in and I could manually delete each of these but you see to do each one requires three clicks I would click on the three dots here I would click on the delete and then I have to click on the OK and depending on how many of these extra things it brings in that could be a little bit time consuming the other thing that happens is you should, could say well since there are no assignments in there I can just leave them there but the difficulty with that is when you look at the grading area here are all of the assignments but what you'll see is I also have all of these additional groups that have been brought in here and when students are enrolled into this particular course what's going to happen is for each of these particular groups here they will get an average for the group if there's no assignments in them it'll just have a, a dash there as you go down for all of the students that are in that group and that really just screws up your gradebook and students are wondering okay when are the self and pair assignments going to come up and that kind of thing so the difficulty as you can clearly see by having all of these extra things in here that it causes confusion amongst the students so that's the biggest reason why you want to select specific content. It's not just so you can bring in the individual items that you want, but it's also so that you can prevent bringing in the additional coding that comes with it. And this is particularly important when you're dealing with um, an export file from Blackboard. So essentially if you've exported your course from Blackboard and you're now importing it into Canvas, you always want to use the select specific content. So once you've done that, you're just going to click on the import button here. It's going to think for a few minutes. And while it's thinking here, I'll just pause the video and you can see it's starting to run here now and it's been completed for us so I'm going to select the specific content and what that will allow me to do is you'll see this arrow here 
I can click on any of these arrows and it will open up everything for me. And you'll see under the assignments, well, it says there's only six assignments. You can see here are all those groups we were talking about, the blog, the journal, self and peer, um, assignment, survey, total, weighted total, test, discussion. And those will always come in with a Blackboard export. So those seven or eight items there will always be there. So you always want to click on the down arrow for assignments and just pick the specific assignments that you would like to bring in. So I'm just going to bring in those that I want. Now if you have something where you want to bring in everything, so as an example, like maybe I want to bring in all of the pages. Instead of having to click each one individually, I can just click on the item next to pages and you'll see it selects all of my pages. The same thing, you don't even have to open them. I, there's two quizzes in the course and say I know I want to bring in both quizzes. Or I could have looked and say, oh yeah, I'd like to bring in both of those quizzes and here's the question banks that are associated with those quizzes. So if I'm bringing in the quizzes, those two quizzes, of course I want to bring in the two question banks that go with it. So I don't even need to open this one to know that I want to bring it in. And once I'm done, I've gone and, you know, I looked at all of the content. Let's bring in all of the files as well. None of the announcements. I'm just going to click select content and you'll see it starts to queue up and now in a second it'll actually start to import only those items that I asked to bring in and it's running here now and when this comes over you'll see there's a green completed button there is no issues with the import so if I go over here now you'll see I click on my assignments and it only brought in the things that I asked it to so apparently I missed one of the categories when I was uh, or the groups when I was picking them so you see it did bring in this extra group, but you notice that the five or six or seven items that were there initially weren't brought in with that. So I only have one that I have to delete this time from here, and hopefully the same would be true when I go to pages to make sure that I only brought in the ones that I wanted. So I could size up these ones here, and as an example, the Blackboard helpline is probably not all that useful anymore. So that would be one I'd want to delete as I'm going through. But this essentially gives you an idea as to why you would want to import just select content as opposed to all of the content that's included in a Blackboard export file. So this has been a quick video that looks at how to import select content into your Canvas course and why you would consider doing that, especially if you are using a Blackboard export file as the file that you're bringing into your new Canvas course.